Three new hydraulic tools making our portfolio even more attractive to professional electricians. One for cutting. One for crimping. And one for hole punching. So Danny and I are joined today by Kim, who's actually the product manager for these speciality tools. What we're going to do with this video is we're going to have a look at each individual one. So before we get started, thanks Dan. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. So Kim, what are we going to look at first? So we're looking at the GKH 18B-50, our new hydraulic cable cutter. Uh, it's got an output force of 50 kilonewtons. It's designed for cutting fine and multi-stranded copper and aluminum cables up to a diameter of 40 millimeters. Uh, we have really good center of gravity. Uh, we have a 360 degree rotatable head and a really cool feature, uh, which we call the automatic intelligent cutting detection, which automatically detects when the cable is cut through. It's going to automatically open the blades and uh, this protects the tool and its hydraulic system. Yeah, so we're looking at an exceptionally powerful machine in such a small frame. Remember that 50 kilonewtons of force. And one of the advantages is the fact that it also it runs on our entire range of professional 18 volt lithium ion batteries. I've got an example here of a Procore 18V 4 amp hour battery, Kim. So why don't we do a quick demonstration? For sure. So all we need is our safety glasses. And it's pretty straightforward, right? So we put in the battery and then we can actually start. We have two buttons. One is the manual pressure release button, which releases the pressure in case you need it. And the second one is simply the on-off switch. So we just take the cable, see where we want to cut, and what we simply do is we press the on-off switch and go for it. And it's as simple as that. So one of the advantages here is obviously because of that dual trigger system or that trigger where as the jaws are slowly compressing, if at any point you need to abort or readjust, you simply just press the pressure release there and it opens up the jaws ready for you to reattempt the application. So nice and simple, not too complicated, Kim. Yep, that's it. So this next product we've got here is our GPH 18V-60. This is a 60 kilonewton crimping tool for electrical lugs and connectors for both aluminium and copper cables up to a maximum diameter of 300 millimeter squared. You've got a nice 340 degree rotating head here, makes it very nice to use and easy to use in those really cramped and confined spaces. It utilizes these small dies which range from six millimeters up to that maximum 300 millimeter squared. Okay. We have a number of different standards depending on your region. So if you require, we have a Dean similar designed for that copper tubular fittings. We also have a Dean aluminium as well for aluminium cables. Simply fit the dies in like that. They are held in by a small ball bearing so they won't go anywhere. So in order to create the long lasting uh, and reliable connections that you want to have, you always have to make sure that the cable, the cable lug and the crimping die that you use all have the same size. So let's do a quick demonstration. Now this machine obviously is going to be compatible with our entire range of professional 18 volt lithium ion batteries. In this particular instance, we're running a Procore 4 amp hour battery. Now in the case of connection cables, you can easily open up the tool fitment here or tool, the die holder okay but in this particular instance we don't necessarily need to do that now if I swing the machine around before I start the application you'll notice there is a small LED on the back once we've done our application and providing the tool has hit the correct force that LED will go green so look I'll do a quick demonstration now pop that in place it on the die and press the activation trigger Okay, the LED on the back should have gone green, and you can see that connection is perfect. Right, Kim, I think it's about time we get Danny back on, and we'll have a look at that third and final machine. So, Dan, welcome back. Third and final tool in the hydraulic tool range. What have you got for us? Right, so this machine is the GLH 18V-60. As the name suggests, 60 kilonewtons of output force for this particular machine. This is designed for punching holes, burr-free holes in fact, in steel sheets up to three millimeters thick and also stainless steel sheets up to 2.5 millimeters thick. This makes this machine perfect for the use for electricians on junction boxes 
um, and electrical panels. That's right. Obviously, there are many other ways you could make holes in steel and stainless steel. However, this has many advantages, which, especially for electricians, mm. that makes this tool a perfect choice. One of the main ones is hygiene. This tool produces a significantly reduced amount of swarf when making these holes. And the last thing you want to do is have bits of metal rolling around inside a junction box, right, Dan? Yeah, of course. So this machine also features this automatic intelligent punching detection system. Essentially what it means is the tool is smart enough to know once it's completed or cut through the metal and it will not continue applying any force. Mm. That's good for the tool, obviously protects that as well as the hydraulic system. Another good feature of this machine, in fact, is the endless 360 degree rotatable head, meaning access into awkward situations is a thing of the past when it comes to this particular machine. Add to that the fact it's really nice and ergonomic and well balanced as well. So, fantastic machine to handle. Excellent. Now, this machine requires dies in order to, in order to work. Let's have a closer look at the types of dies we've got, as well as how to set the machine up ready for a cut. Within the scope of delivery with every machine, you'll always receive two different draw studs. You can see there's two different sizes. That allows us to have the compatibility across a wide range of dies and punches. You'll also notice we supply two different spaces as well within the scope of delivery. When you're referring to the punch and die sets, we cover a good size range from M16 up to M40, and also PG9 to PG36. And the punches themselves are actually designed to withstand the force of use with stainless steel as well as mild steel. So in actual fact, you can do both applications with the same punch. So when it comes to assembly prior to use, uh, the first thing you're going to need is the draw stud. So we're going to use the larger draw stud here. Um, within the scope of delivery, you'll receive a small pack of grease. It's always recommended to grease the threads on these just to increase the life expectancy of the actual parts that you're assembling. So the, quite easy to see on here, it explains machine end first, so you just screw that all the way into the actual head of the machine there until it stops. There you go. Uh, then you add on the spacer. You don't necessarily have to use the spacer, but it does make, if you're using on thinner materials, you don't have to wind the actual punch on as far. Next goes on the die and then you're ready to approach the material that you actually want to operate. That's right, with obviously the punch, this will be screwed on the other side, and where better, we've got a nice demonstration here of an actual electrical cabinet, so why don't we show you exactly how the application works. So to save a little time, we've already pre-drilled the pilot holes to a suitable diameter for the particular draw stud that we're using. Now Danny's obviously gonna feed that through the material now, and then he's gonna grab the punch, and he's going to start screwing that on the opposite side. <laughs> There you go, just locate it on the inside and then start the thread off and wind that up all the way until it's tight against the material. There you go. Right, so the next part is fit on the battery. So as you can probably see and hear, that was effortless, right Dan? Yep, absolutely effortless. Now if I just take the battery off first and then what I can do is I can start removing the punch just to show you the material that's left over. And as I described earlier, what you'll end up with is these two basically semi-section or semi-circle sections uh, with very little wastage, which is what we want. We don't want those bits of burrs and, not the burrs, sorry, but all the, the swarf and the bits of metal inside whatever we're working on. And in addition to that, it prevents it from getting jammed into the actual die itself, so it makes it much easier for you to just empty out the waste material, and away you go. Okay, so hopefully you can see that, and there's virtually no wastage as well, so that's perfect, excellent finish. No sharp edges on the actual material that comes off, no sharp edges on the actual uh, application surface itself either. So all in all, an excellent machine if you're doing these kinds of applications and you want that burr-free, wastage free material. Okay, so I think that was an excellent summary on these three professional hydraulic tools for professional electricians. However, we thought we'd cover off this section here because all three products have similar features. All of these hydraulic tools require maintenance. Um, for our particular machines here, we have an outstanding maintenance schedule of 20,000 cycles. Excellent. 
All three machines have a status LED on the back. They are three different colors. Green means the machine's working perfectly and that the application has been successful. If the LED goes yellow, that might indicate that the machine has either have, have a service interval upcoming or has already been exceeded. So we recommend sending that in for that maintenance work. And then finally, if the LED goes red, that might indicate that the battery is depleted or there may be an issue with the machine, again, requiring you to send it in for investigation. The machines also feature a work working LED on the front there, which is obviously ideal if you're working in dark conditions where I'm sure many electricians find themselves in. And then finally, from my perspective, the three products also feature that pressure or a pressure and hydraulic regulation sensor, which helps again regulate the pressure and ensure that the machine is working reliably and efficiently. Not only that, but each and every one of these goes through 100% end of line quality control, meaning that every single one is tested uh, to specs as it comes off the production line and that's certificated in the box with the product. So last but not least, we have the readout functionality on the tools with this USB port that you can see here. So Bosch will offer a free readout software, which you can download on our website. And with that software, you'll be able to read out the most important parameters of the tools, and you will be able to generate um, and download reports, uh, which is especially important for our crimper. So Kim, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, hopefully you appreciate a really excellent video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. Outtakes. So Dan, Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> so this next machine we've got in front of us is the GP... I've got to remember the name, sorry. But you were right. Oh. It was right. Okay, so this next machine we've got in front of us is the GHP... No, GPH. <laughs> I've done it now. So this next machine we've got in front of us is the GHP... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's my outtake sword. Sure. Use safety glasses, of course, just to make sure that nothing goes wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Was that too ominous? Nothing goes wrong. <laughs> so today we're joined by Kim, who's the product manager for these specialty tools. So let's directly start. <laughs> I thought you were going to say more. <laughs> no.